Welcome to Primary YPWW, Lesson 1. I do not own the rights to this music. The topic is meeting God through prayer. Our lesson scripture is coming out of Matthew chapter 6, verses 5 through 8. Our memory verse for today is, Seek ye the Lord while he may be found. Call ye upon him while he is near. And that is Isaiah 55, verse 6. The target for today's lesson. The Lord wants his children to meet and fellowship with him through prayer. Matthew chapter 6, verses 5 through 8. And when thou prayest, thou shalt not be as the hypocrites are. For they love to pray standing in the synagogues and in the corners of the streets, that they may be seen of men. Verily I say unto you, they have their reward. But thou, when thou prayest, enter into thy closet, and when thou hast shut the door, pray to thy Father which is in secret, and thy Father which seeth in secret shall reward thee openly. But when ye pray, use not vain repetitions, as the heathen do. For they think that they shall be heard for their much speaking. Be not ye therefore like unto them. For your Father knoweth what things ye have need of, before ye ask him. Prayer is talking to God. When you have a relationship with God, you talk to him. You spend time with him. You like just being near him. Sometimes in your prayer, you ask him to bless you. You call his name. You say thank you and praise the Lord. Prayer draws you closer to God. Prayer helps you to know his will for your life. God wants you to seek him. One day, a prophet named Isaiah Preach to the people of Judah and Jerusalem. He tells them that they need to restore their faith and relationship with God. They need to turn from sin and seek to do God's will. They must do this before it is too late. Isaiah warns, seek the Lord, call upon him. He is telling them to talk to God while he is near. They should start praying again. God is listening to their prayers. Jesus encourages his disciples to talk to God in prayer. He tells them that prayer is very important. He says, when you pray, do not be like the hypocrites. Hypocrites are pretenders or phonies. They love to be seen praying and they pray vain or meaningless words. This means that they are not serious. They like that people hear them, but they have no real relationship with God. Talking to God shows that he is your friend. It proves that you are his friend too. Do you speak to your best friend every day? God wants to be your very best friend. You can talk to him daily. The Bible shows us many people that met God and became great people of faith through prayer. Adam talks with God in the Garden of Eden. Abraham walks with God on his promised land journey. Jacob meets God in a place called Bethel. There are many examples like these. Matthew chapter 6 verses 9 through 13 is the Lord's Prayer. It begins, Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, in earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts, as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, 
but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. Psalm 145 verse 18 says, The Lord is nigh unto all them that call upon him, to all that call upon him in truth. Psalm 16 verse 11 Thou will show me the path of life. In thy presence is fullness of joy. At thy right hand there are pleasures forevermore. There are four questions for today's lesson. Question one has three questions. What is prayer? How can we meet God through prayer? Who should pray? Number two, what did Isaiah warn the people? Number three, who did Jesus warn his disciples not to be like? Number four, what is a hypocrite? One more scripture, John chapter 14, verse 6. Jesus saith unto him, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. That scripture means that you can only talk to God the Father by going through a relationship with Jesus. By having a relationship with Jesus. The Bible says in Romans chapter 10 verse 9 that if you confess with your mouth the Lord Jesus and shall believe in your heart that God hath raised him from the dead, you shall be saved. For with the heart man believeth unto righteousness and with the mouth confession is made unto salvation. That is how easy it is to enter a relationship with Jesus, that you confess him with your mouth. You speak Lord Jesus with your mouth and believe that God raised him from the dead and you will be saved. God bless you and thank you for joining me today.